Are you planning to build a gaming PC based on AMD Ryzen 7000 series CPU and cannot decide if you should get a more expensive X or a cheaper non-X model? Then this video is for you. I will tell you about the difference in performance and power consumption, as well as about important advantages the non-X Ryzen processors have over their X counterparts. If you are not familiar with Ryzen CPUs, then I should let you know that AMD has a one-click auto-overclocking feature called PBO. It is super easy to enable and it boosts performance by quite a bit, at the expense of increased power consumption. Actually, this is the feature that essentially turns a non-X Ryzen processor into X processor for free, and the power consumption increase is not even that bad. For the Ryzen 7 7700, it is just 2 watts higher than a stock 7700X. Ryzen 5 7600 does show a much worse result, consuming 12 watts more than 7600X. But cooling a 57 watts average is still very easy, so I do not consider it to be a deal breaker by any means. Furthermore, check out this 10 game average performance chart. I think you will find the slightly increased power consumption on the non-X processors well worth it. Out-of-the-box performance of the Ryzen 7 7700 puts it at 229 FPS average. To be honest, it is not a big gap when we compare it to 7700X sitting at 240 FPS average. That is just 11 FPS difference. However, by enabling one-click auto-overclock on the 7700 non-X CPU, it closes that gap to just 6 FPS difference. Other Ryzen 7000 models show similar results. Ryzen 9 7900X vs 7900, 4 FPS difference. And Ryzen 5 7600X vs 7600 non-X, just 3 FPS difference. This is a very small performance gap even when you look at it on the chart. In a real-world scenario, gaming on an X and a non-X Ryzen PC side by side, you will not be able to feel the difference. Especially if you pair your CPU with a lower tier graphics card and or play at a higher resolution. After all, this test was done using a beastly RTX 4090 at 1080p and 1440p resolutions, which are very easy for it to handle. Additionally, the non-X Ryzen 7000 processors come with a decent cooler included in the box, while the X models don't have any. Of course, this cooler will not provide a silent experience by any means, but it is a good money-saving move if you are on a tight budget. They are nice coolers that get the job done, and the noise is not too bad. A cheap graphics card cooler will be about as loud in most games, so it is not a problem for a budget PC build. Now let's talk about the price difference. By purchasing a Ryzen 5 7600 instead of a 7600X, you can save $20 plus the cost of a CPU cooler. If you are after a Ryzen 7 7700, then it will be $15 to $20 saving plus the free cooler. And you will save $20 by buying a Ryzen 9 7900 instead of a 7900X. Oh, by the way, right now it is actually not true if you go to Amazon. You can pick up a 7900X for $420, which is the same price as a 7900 non-X. I will leave a link to it in the description below, along with links to the rest of the CPUs featured in this video. If this video was helpful, then please consider using my Amazon affiliate links. It is what keeps this type of content alive on my channel. By the way, you don't have to be from the US to use those links. You will be directed to your local Amazon web store. In conclusion, I think that you should skip the Ryzen X models and go for the non-X instead. They offer comparable performance at a lower price, come with a free CPU cooler, and if you choose to not enable the auto-overclocking, then you will also have a much more power-efficient CPU in your PC. Win-win! Let me know in the comments below what you think about it, and if you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. It was I, Vadim, until next time.